Most of us know Ryan Holiday from his blog and his books about the ancient Stoics, the Daily Stoic, the Lives of the Stoic, that kind of thing. But this book I want to recommend by him is his first, I think it's his first book. It's called Trust Me, I'm Lying, Confessions of a Media Manipulator. In many ways, I think this is my favorite book of his. And I'll see if I can, you know, tell you what this is about. One of Ryan's early jobs as kind of a marketing consultant or kind of a guerrilla marketer was for American Apparel, the company that was owned by Dove Charney and that or might still be owned by Dove Charney that was kind of dubious in its uh, manipulation of the media to try to get attention. They didn't have a big budget. So Ryan getting in there sort of came to learn what the, the, um, the ecosystem of the media was like. And here's kind of how it works. The uh, kind of big name blogs like the Huffington Post and other things like that, the, the name brand media, these days don't really have a tremendous number of field reporters who are out there actually getting news and talking to people. And the way they get their stories is they kind of mine the internet, they mine the blogs, and they sort of look down through the various layers and uh, they find stuff at the bottom that then percolates up. And of course, media manipulators have learned how to game this system. And they'll start at the bottom. So for instance, there might be some crazy clickbait story that was just put out by a blogger in Macedonia, be even something that they invented just to try to get eyeballs. And what will happen, it'll be on a sort of a no-name blog or something like that, and it'll get picked up by one level of a blog or something like that, or Facebook or something like that, one level above, that has a little bit more credibility. And from that place, it'll then go to the next level, and pretty soon it might be picked up by somebody we, you and I have heard of. That's like a legitimate blog or a Facebook or something. And the next thing you know, that thing has gained credibility and it winds up on Politico or BuzzFeed or HuffPost or something like that. And the next thing, it becomes into the legitimate mainstream news and a story is treated as if it's for real when it was totally fictitious from the beginning. Now, what Ryan would do as a kind of a low budget manipulator is he would kind of stage or create things like uh, they might put a billboard up on the Sunset Strip that was deliberately intended to outrage, say, women. And they were hoping to get like a women's group protesting. And then that would become a little bit of a media event and that would go up the food chain and for free, they would get a lot of publicity. Now, if you want to talk about what's really going on in the world today, like um, conspiracy theories, this is where it comes from. This kind of thing where someone will plant at the lowest level, some crazy conspiracy story like Jewish space lasers starting forest fires in California, and it'll go up the food chain until it's actually, you see it on Fox News or MSNBC, and now somebody has gotten a lot of real publicity out of this. So anyway, this is a wonderful book about that whole crazy ecosystem. Trust me, I'm lying. It's Ryan Holiday's first book, I believe, and uh, it's wonderfully written. It's kind of an insider, a conspirator's absolute report from the trenches. Highly recommended. Trust me, I'm lying by Ryan Holiday.